Hi guys, welcome back to another video uh, today um, and regarding the virtual robotics toolkit. Um, we're trying to go to the basics of the program itself and how it works. Uh, if you haven't yet watched my previous video, we try to go to the basics of it uh, in there. So now we will try to understand how we can program our program in this virtual robotics toolkit and try to see some basic programming happening in today's video. All right, so let's go back to our sandbox uh, simulation over here. I put over here again, sandbox, let's say um, programming and uh, we can press okay. Again, as I said earlier on, uh, if you have, uh, uh, it, it sometimes takes some time to load. Um, so don't worry about that and understand that this is a very um, simple way to you know go ahead with this thing. Now, uh, today, um, a, a last last video I've showed you how, uh, if I just press play, I can start simulating this um, robot to move around and do my thing. Now, what if I don't want to do this? I actually want to learn programming. So I'm gonna press stop over here and I'm gonna connect my robot to uh, the EV3 uh, software. So if I go to the, uh, the Mindstorm software, which automatically opens up, once I open the virtual device toolkit, I can go and create, um, new program when I press the plus button. If you can see over here is that I have this option called EV3 Educator Vehicle. So if you have a physical robot, you might know that you, you see your robots over here to connect to. So this is exactly the robot over here. It's called, this robot is called EV3 Educator Vehicle. So I will connect to my robot from here. And the only way that I can connect is the Wi-Fi, which is, you know, makes sense. There's no Bluetooth and USB for a you know, virtual robot. So if I click connect, it gets connected to my robot over here and I can program this. Now I want to understand that if I want to just go straight, I can go for a very simple programming and I can put over here the move block and I can say go straight for one rotation. So if I press play over here, if you can see over here right now, the program comes over here and it runs the program. So if you see the program is running over here and it's just like a real uh, robot where I can control the brick and I can say, let's press the program again. You know, so if I press play, it goes again straight. Press play, it's straight. straight. Um, now I wanted to understand the different ways I can see it is the controls. So I can just use my right um, mouse to look around, which is very important to understand the controls because it's, it's really like going to make you understand this. So I can use my wheel to zoom in. So right to move around and then this can be zooming in right and then i can use my alter with the right button to kind of like orbit around this whole thing okay and then i can use my control to kind of like you know move around like they call it like a truck feel so i can move around this thing all right so Let's go back to our um, programming and um, I just want you guys to let's do a quick uh, sample and let's I wanted to look 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 at this whole thing from an up perspective. OK, so that we can understand this. OK, so just to get, get a view. OK, now if I press this and I play this one time, this says to go for one rotation. OK, so if I press play over here. So this goes for one rotation. So um, just to make you understand that, like it's just a quick assumption that if I go for one rotation, this is approximately um, a, like this much distance. So what do you think would um, would be, how much rotation would it take for me to reach over there? So let's do a quick assumption. I, I personally, just giving it a try. So if this is one rotation, let's say two, three, four, five, six, seven. So approximately seven rotation might work out so let's let's give it a try see how it works you know maybe i'm not really good in uh, assumptions or maybe the view is not not perfect so but let's just give it a try and see how it works okay oh sorry uh sorry 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 let's press back oh guys come on guys come on come on okay no let's press back it's supposed to stop it so you can start from again from new and let's press it again let's see how it works and okay, I think uh, our assumptions are wrong. Let's go with let's say five. You know, 
Uh, let's press again. Let's see how it goes. Could be our view is not perfectly like aligned, so that's why. Okay, so we're doing pretty good over here. And so uh, this is a very basic programming that we can do and see we can simulate it perfectly in real world. So that's pretty much it for right now. We're going to make another video on we can try to use sensors and how we can go a bit more advanced programming in that case. So thank you so much for watching. Have a good time and see you guys later.